Where are we going? YouTube. YouTube, are you kidding me? We got the boys going out to Medellin. You know what time it is. Before we even start, make sure you click the bell, you comment, you subscribe, because every single week we're dropping fire just like this. I'm taking the boys on a trip. We've been grinding all year. And so they have no idea what I planned, where we're staying, what we're doing. For all they know, we could be sleeping under a bridge tonight. It's going to be beautiful. Are you guys I agree ready? that. I believe it. And I believe it. it's Big Hoss's birthday. Oh. Big Hoss's birthday, 13th is going down. We probably can't film that day, but all the other stuff you're going to get. Let's get it. We'll see you there. Do I feel like a celebrity? Well, it doesn't help that I have no legs or an arm. <laughs> so I stick out like a sore thumb. You know, I thought about it. When I get to the point where I'm this A-list, I always had a vision. You know like when A-list celebrities, they come out of somewhere and like the paparazzi's like, bah! They can put me in like a baby carriage and disguise me as a baby or they can put me in like a Louis Vuitton duffel bag and walk me out of the hotel and no one would know that I'm in the bag. <laughs> so I'm already thinking about it, you know? But as, as for now, he's loving it. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you see me, I see you. Here we are. Yeah, very good. Right place, right time. Very good. Give me one picture. You, I take a picture with you? You want to take a picture with me? <laughs> Ready to rock and roll? Three, two, one. I'll see you soon. I'll see you in the quantum. You got the whole plane. Listen, just so y'all know. Five. <laughs> You equip yourself with headphones and a blindfold and you do a pineal gland meditation, you blast off, you wake up in Columbia. What the hell is that? What? Tell the, tell the, the people what The it. pineal gland is the ancient gland in the back of your brain that is the transmuter to all the mystical experiences. And so if you can activate your pineal gland, you can be in more in the mystical and have all the magic moments happen. But that's a whole nother workshop for a whole nother time. This is Pistol Pete. He is, he is accountable for hundreds of thousands of dollars in digital sales. Yeah, How do you so, make that all happen? Well, right now we're running a little launch going on right now, so if you want to check it out, and uh, we're about to crush it, so excited for it. Launch goes live tomorrow. Tell us a little more. Tell, Tell us a little more. more. Oh, shit. Dude, you're a transformational speaker. Don't look at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no pressure. Come on. Yo. This is great. We're capturing you. Like, very, very, very. All right, you got it. <laughs> 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 Got something light. We'll bring you around. Who we got, boss? This one probably is gonna help you out. Perfect. Inside the house, 24 7. Anything you need, everything that you need to use something that you don't know how to maneuver, cool. he's gonna be here with you. This is the spot right over here. <laughs> hey. Man, he'll help you out with all that. And you can plug in your shelf with your iPhone, that's in the cable. Nice. Yep. All right, we're dancing in here. <laughs> right, let's go. The bathroom is right back over here, guys. We have two bathrooms over here. Different though, they took two idiots in it. Like, two. Ah. like I said, this is the kitchen right here. Don't just something you're requesting my boy right over here. Boom. Thank you. Know, okay. wow. Thank you. Wow. And this will be for the for the chef service when it comes okay. tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. You let me know at what time you want the service the day after tomorrow. 
Thank you. Thank you. This you right over here. Don't get too drunk, bro. Alright, let's get to the upper floor. This is the movie theater. Like, like the thing over here. <laughs> Hold on a second. Guys, you know all about sex. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> oh man. Now I know what that camera is gonna be used yeah. for. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh god. Come on <laughs> now. Andrew's like, yo, we gotta get better at narrating the vlogs. Well, the truth is, I don't do vlogs, these are new. And everything in life is a muscle, and if you don't use it, you lose it. So we're just getting better at doing the process, Andrew, all right? So I here we go, we're, we're, we're vlogging here, people. So we got here at the Medellin compound. Um, yeah, it's showing, we got the boys. We got Pete, we got Dan, we got Christian. And what's really important is for you guys to surround yourself with people who show you what's possible. Your brain is the best detective in the world and it's always gonna to try to find evidence to prove yourself right. And some of you have only evidence that being broke is the only way you could be. Or you have evidence that relationships are not sustainable. Or you, have, or you have evidence that money doesn't grow in trees, which they print money in a building and they printed way too much of it, so it does grow in trees. And so if you can surround yourself with people who show you evidence of what's truly possible, your brain says, okay, if this is possible, if he can do it, I can do it. First full day in Medellin, it is 6 a.m. I've been up since 5 a.m. I did a heart and mind coherence meditation when I got up. And then what better way to wake up all of the people in the house was to run around with a JBL speaker. We'll insert that clip without the music, but run around in their rooms with JBL speaker blasting music. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of my favorite places called Guatape. And it's one of the largest man-made lakes in Colombia, in, in the world. And we're gonna cruise around, have some food on the water, chill out, jump in the water, swim, whatever it is, but we're just gonna chill. And there's something magical about being in proximity to people that are doing things at a high level. And so even in this house, you know, we have Andrew who's behind the camera right now editing things and getting things ready for all of you. We have Peter who's launching our five hour masterclass marketing strategy so we can enroll people into our masterclass. Like things are going on and it's a very inspiring, uplifting household when you're with a bunch of people who are grinding and doing big things. And so when I came when I came back from Joe Dispenza, so Joe Dr. Joe Dispenza is all about the quantum field and being able to go into the quantum and attract things and, and pull them into your life. And so since I got back from a seven day retreat of Joe I haven't missed um, a meditation. And so it's a non-negotiable one a day. Ideally, I do it in the morning, but I've been, I've been doing it at night. Um, but I was energized when I woke up at 5 a.m. in Medellin, so I said, let me put on my blindfold and blast off into the quantum field. If someone's trying to maybe get started with meditation, what would you, um, how would you guide, guide them or give them maybe some tips like for yeah. beginners? So it's really important for you to understand is that knowledge is the precursor to experience. And so if you don't have the knowledge and the understanding of why you're doing what you're doing, you're going to go into a meditation not really understanding it. And most people watching this think meditation is where you close your eyes and you chill out, and it's totally not that, right? And so what I would do is I would give Joe Dispenza a plug here, and I would go read Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself or Becoming Supernatural, or start listening to the videos because, um, what I thought meditation was versus going into Joe's room and understanding what meditation was, my whole world is flipped upside down and exactly what it is. And so what if I were to tell you that instead of you pushing your whole entire life and struggling, you could actually go inward, you can become no one, you can become nothing, you can become nowhere, no time at all, and you can create from the quantum field and have mystical experiences happen in your life. Now some of you listening to this right now are like, this guy is out of his mind. That's because you only know what you know. And so that's what I would say. <clears throat> look up Joe Dispenza. Look up Becoming Supernatural, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Start reading that, and then you really get to understand what meditation is because it's not what you think it is.
I don't think a lot of people talk about meditation, like, you know, definitely like a lot of high performers, you know, and I think if people are watching and they be like, what's the benefit? Like why? You know, yeah. I don't know. Just There's a ton, but the first thing is, is if you can meditate first thing in the morning and overcome yourself and overcome your thoughts and overcome your, your monkey brain and calm yourself down, when you come into the external world, you can overcome anything. And so if you can overcome yourself, you can overcome anything that's in the external world. So that's another important thing. The other important thing is, as humans... What's a way to pause there? What's a way that you can, like, we used to overcome yourself. How, how, would, how would you learn to do that through meditation? Because meditation, the whole time, you're trying to get to the present moment. Um, but during a meditation, your brain's like, this is stupid, or I can't wait to drink coffee after this, or I wonder what the chef's making. And so that muscle of identifying the thought drifting you from the present moment and coming back to the present moment, that's the victory. And so when you can sit down and become hyper aware of how loud the voices are in your head and get to the point where you can slowly turn down the volume and get to the present moment, it's a game changer. Most people have, well, we have millions and millions of thoughts per day and you don't even realize how many thoughts are going on. And so the muscle of drifting away from the present moment and coming back is the victory. And sometimes, you know, Joe talks about like, sometimes you'll go through a two hour meditation and it'll take you an hour and 40 minutes just to touch the present moment for a couple of minutes and that's the victory. Yeah. That's how difficult it is. That's how much chatter you have in your brain. Yeah. Going into immersive events, like immersive is the greatest way to learn. And so with Joe, I go into immersive experience for seven days. The longest meditation I did, I, bro, I wasn't a meditator. I don't know what that is. We did a, we did a five hour pineal gland meditation. We were in a meditation for five hours. So now when I come out into this world and I do an hour, I do two hours, it's like, oh. It's like a breeze. It's nothing, right? Okay. So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, That's coming, coming to the present moment. Um, also, like, this whole human experience about, is about awareness. And so when you can become aware of how you talk to yourself and how you treat yourself, once you're aware of it, you can strip power away from it. The majority of your thoughts are negative. You just, you're just used to it. That's just the way that you talk to yourself. So becoming hyper aware of the voice and then... Also, a lot of people are scared to go into darkness because they don't want to face themselves. That's why a lot of people don't do psychedelics because what they don't want to come up is going to come up to teach you something and you don't want it to come up. And that's why people are scared. And then the nerdy, nitty gritty is you can't get upgrades in the 3D world. You can only get upgrades in the quantum field. And so if you can go in meditation and go really deep and become no one and become nothing and be nowhere, you can create from the field, and when you come back into your body, it's a different world. You've got the upgrades. That won't make sense to people. Right. Doesn't make sense to me still. But I was in a room where people couldn't see, and then they healed their nerve damage in their eyes. I was in a room where someone, a lady grew her thyroid back through meditation. There's people that go into the meditation retreat in wheelchairs, and then by the end, they're walking with walkers, and they don't need the wheelchair. It's because... Your body doesn't have the disease, the information around your body has the disease. So if you go into the quantum field and change the information, you can come back and heal yourself. They, they, also, they also put cells in a Petri dish and had meditators stand over it and get in mind and heart coherence and produce the, the specific chemical that fights COVID. Your, your body is the greatest pharmaceutical yeah. in, ph pharmacy in the world. It can produce everything that you need. When you go into the quantum field, we're just always constantly trying to put pills in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the that's the matrix. <laughs> the same people that make your food are the same people that make your medicine. Yeah. Start thinking about that. Yeah. That's why you come to Colombia, you feel great. The food's great. The air is great. The ladies are great. We're going to eat. We got the chef. You want to show the chef? We got the chef whipping up the breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got the chef whipping up the breakfast and we're gonna eat some food. The car will show up and we'll head over to Guadalupe and we'll keep you in the loop. Stay tuned, it's going down. We're close to Guadalupe, right? Yes. Close to Guadalupe and we're doing a, a coffee tour. So tell us more. But first, uh, we are in the border in the other town that is called El Peñol. 
the, the coffee farm is located in El Peñola. Peñola and Guatape are two towns. Uh, uh, both towns have to be flooded yeah. to create a hydroelectric here. Oh, wow. So that's why the lake that later you're going to see, the lake is a man-made lake or artificial lake. Wow. Yes, but we're going to visit a coffee farm here. So they made the lake to generate the power? To, the ha to have the, the reserve of water to produce, say to have the dump or, okay. or the reserve of water. Yeah. So we just finished going through the whole entire process of how to make coffee and how to make it so you can drink it, whether it's French, French press or espresso. And so it takes a lot of time for you to be able to make coffee with the, the planning and all these different amazing things. And then how to extract the bean, how to break it down, what's a good bean, what's a not bad bean. I had no idea this is all goes on with coffee. I'm super caffeinated out, as you can tell. Um, it is wild. I was asking you about the numbers, and it's wild uh, on a good year what they produce and how much they're selling and how much that relates to U.S. And so we just did a coffee tour. I thought coffee tour would be pretty cool, so we did one. Now we're headed to The Rock, the famous rock in Guad Guadalupe, and we're going to check that out. We're going to get some food, and then my favorite part is we're going to take a boat and go around one of the largest man-made rivers in the world. And it's beautiful. It's got these amazing mansions on the side of the, the hills and we get to go by the, the ruins of Pablo's um, property where he had a nightclub and he had his house and you can see where like the bazooka shot in from other, the other cartel, some crazy stuff. So we're gonna show you that, but next up is Guadalupe the Rock. We'll, we'll show you that and then we're gonna go on the boat, my favorite part. What are you doing, you working over here? Yeah, we literally just went live nine seconds ago. We are launching a masterclass called the, the Spread Your Message Masterclass. Uh, where you can spread your message to millions of people while building your business and we just did it from a coffee shop here in Columbia but like check out this view it's insane <laughs> Looking at the camera guy right here. Let's I'm just go. trying to catch some rays real quick. A video? Yeah, he's that sweet. Yeah, you want to say on video? Yeah, you want to say on video? What? You asked for it. Live now. Oh my god. Hey, like Paso. Like We're in Guadalupe. Like we got lollipops. And we're about to hit the boat. It's a beautiful day. It got really hot, muy caliente, I think. Join this culture. Tú tienes la llave de mi corazón. Yo te quiero más que mi vida porque sin tu amor yo me muero. Tú tienes la llave de mi corazón. Yo te quiero más que mi vida porque sin tu amor. We'll see. Yeah, 100. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks, guys. And then we're gonna get some food, and we're gonna burn it down. So. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, let's go. Um, we just got off the boat. We had a great time. Some of us got wet. I didn't personally. Um, got about, say maybe hour, half, hour 45 ride back. Oh, How was your birthday lunch? Your birthday eve lunch? It was good. I had a nice um, lava cake with vanilla ice cream. And uh, hopefully we're not all feeling that on the way back. And in the midst of all of this, we're doing our launch for our Spread Your Message Masterclass, which is going down in just a couple days. And so you'll see the link in bio. You should probably opt in for that. It's going to change the game and allow you to not only improve your communication skills, but increase impact and lead generation from Sage. And so we're going to go back, film some reels, go live, teach a bit, and enjoy the rest of the night in Medellin. We'll see you there. Let's go, baby. Last night, we didn't do anything. We did Guadalupe all day, and then we, I was exhausted. We went to dinner, met up with a good friend, put our tinfoil hats on, and that conversation was recorded because I don't think it would be allowed to be recorded. So that's just the way it goes. Now, we're on day three. Andrew's leaving soon, but we're going to do, uh, we just finished some breakfast. We got the, we got the chorizo, I don't even know what that means. You know, insert, insert sound bite of me. I'm gonna turn it on and then get my on. You know? If there's any game that I can give you, if I could start over, is I'd find a high income skill set, whether that's DM setting, closing, sales, anything that you could do remote, and I would make the cash in America and I would spend it elsewhere. And I've been around the world, a lot of amazing places. One of the greatest places in the world is Medellin. But. If you have a high income skill set that you can do remotely, you can work anywhere in the world. But you have to get evidence that it's possible. And so, get some high income skill sets. Oh, actually, perfect timing. We're vlogging right now. It's a birthday boy. He's coming. He's coming around. He's coming around. He's coming around town. He's coming around town. He's coming around town. He's 28 years old today. What well, do you have to tell the camera? You're 28. I don't know what that means. Yo, by the way, by the way, come back, come back. This shirt was the first clothing line I've ever started, and it failed terribly. I still and, wear it. And all the excess inventory we gave the Christian. <laughs> I still believe in the brand. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. And so, there's a lot of failed attempts to get here. But just know, if you start a clothing line and it fails, just give it to your friends and they'll wear it. They'll always support it. What's your, what's your um, outlook on failure? Yeah, well, early on, every, I failed at everything. So I became very accustomed to failure. Failure getting my clothes on, failure feeding myself, um, failure getting on the couch. And so I just understood that it was part of the process. And the faster you fail, the faster you get feedback. The faster you get feedback, you can course correct and get the success. The only difference between you and the man and the woman that you want to be or the people that you look up to is time and they failed more than you did. They were in the game while you were on the sideline moaning and complaining. And so the faster you fail, the faster that you can get feedback and succeed. And as Nelson Mandela would say, in, in life there is no failure. There's only winner, winning or learning. So that's what I would say. Get out there and start failing. Get out there and start doing it janky. Get out there and start doing it not so sexy. I actually hope that you get pummeled. I hope that you eat... Can we, can we bleep my curse words out? Sure. I, we ho I hope you eat <laughs> when you start your business. I hope everything fails. Because understand that disruption follows intention. And anytime that you're going to be intentional about creating something, about building something, disruption is going to be there to bring you down. And so I hope you get pummeled and I hope you get beat up. Because you got to go through something to get to something. Let me sip on this Medellin coffee. Mm. <laughs> well, I'll leave him at that.
Pablo used to use his origin story to connect with the people. That's what I got out of it. He was a transformational speaker. Not that we're highlighting him. But if you look at any of the great leaders, though, they're just transformational speakers. Their, their ability to lead and serve and influence in some sort of way. So, yo, Pablo used his origin story to connect with the poor people. Like, hey, I was here. This is where I was. I know. And then now I'm here. He was literally the definition of a, a transformational speaker back in the day. Uh, just sharing, you know, his message and his movement, you know. Not to say that it was good or bad, you know, a lot of bad things happen from it. Um, but that sh goes to show just the power of your voice and, you know, sharing your message. Tell us about this area that we're in. Yeah, this, this is, what's the neighborhood? Barrio Pablo Escobar. What he said. But this is the neighborhood Pablo Pablo built, and it was it was a garbage dump, and then they bought or built 365 houses, and we're in the exact neighborhood that all these houses were built. Um, so he was he was a mover and shaker. But just like but just I don't know just like anything like you're not saying you're gonna go become a, a Pablo Escobar, but you're gonna be hated for your message, and you're gonna be loved for your message. Say that you are a person with value, or a, you are a Say that person with courage. Yeah, valor. When you yeah. try to fight against the people that believe that they have the power just because they have the money of the drugs and they have the money to manipulate the people. So you say you are a person of courage when you try to fight against that. Mm -hmm. Against the people that is manipulating the others with the economy. Oh. Lara Bonilla. <laughs> All right, my friends, so this is the closing out of the Medellin vlog. There was a lot to film and a lot we didn't film. There's a lot we packed into this trip. Um, but the the good news is we're getting better at vlogging and that's all that matters. And so as the this YouTube channel becomes the grow and get bigger and bigger, you're gonna see the additions and the growth within Andrew and I and the team on vlogging. But this is the, the process and the start of something really amazing as we grow this channel and get you a little bit more intimate in the behind the scenes of my life, my travels and what we do behind the camera, now on the camera. And so make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, because every single week we're dropping fire just like this and enjoy some of the great scenery and the great clips that we have from our Medellin vlog.